Okay, hey you guys, it's your girl T, also known as Big Beautiful Loving It on YouTube. How you guys doing? Oh, me, not so good right now. Highly irritated at the moment um, due to a conversation I just had. Just, oh, I, I don't understand people. And I don't understand the whole obsession with hair and the whole... I don't know. It's just, it's so irritating to me that it's even an issue. That that is even something someone would consider a statement or a movement or it's hair. And if there's nothing bigger going on in your life than how your hair is, then I don't know what to tell you because there's something missing. Something's not like, well, lucky you, first off. If that's the biggest issue in your life. But I like I can't even believe I'm having these conversations still with people about natural hair and it not being me trying to act like I'm better than or worse than or like it even qualifies those things. Me having my hair non-relaxed is nothing more than that. You can't judge anything else about me based on that. How many times, in, like, why do we need to say that? That's common sense. That's like saying, I don't know, because I have my ears pierced. That means something about me other than that my ears are pierced. It, there's nothing else that you can get from that. Nothing. There's nothing else to be taken from it. And from my standpoint, it's just a decision not to put a relaxer in my hair. It is not me trying to fight the establishment. I mean... It's ridiculous to me that it is even something where someone would take it as a statement. Why? Why does it matter what I put in my hair or don't put in my hair? It's my hair growing out of my body. If I decide to light the shit on fire tomorrow, that's my business. It, it's just so... Really? I'm not telling anybody what to do with their hair, so how are you going to tell them what to do with mine or or try to... I, I don't understand. It is not my mission in life to try to convert other people to wear their hair without relaxers. I don't care what you do to your hair, boo. Girl. I mean, if you ask me for some advice or something or whatever, okay, then I'll give you my opinion. Otherwise... Do what you do. Bleach it, jerry curl it, chop it off, weave it up. D do what you want, whatever makes you happy. Now, if I see something that's a little bit, you know, if I do see somebody with a blonde jerry curl, I might get a giggle or two in there, but that, you know, hey, if that's what makes you happen, happy, boo, then, you know, do you. I'm not, I'm not hating. Get you. Get it. Get it. It's your world. I'm just a squirrel. I just think overall, I'm not someone who's like, I think every black woman needs to go natural. If you don't want to go natural with your hair, if you want to relax it till the day you die, go for it. What I think the main issue I have is don't try to tell me I'm wrong for making a decision I make. Let people live their lives. If I want to not relax my hair, but I want to put um, silicone and sulfates all up and through it, that's my business. I can do that. It doesn't mean anything about me. I can make whatever choices I want to make because my hair, my body, my life, live yours. Why are you so concerned? Not, okay, not you. I'm not saying you specifically. I'm just saying overall people who are so concerned with other people's hair and their journeys and, you know, I feel like this natural hair community thing that's going on here, it's great as an information resource. But what it does is people come in and they start thinking that they can, it, it becomes personal to them to some degree, someone else's journey. And this doesn't happen to me as much. I did get a, a note or message or whatever that was kind of like, okay, really? But, like, I just see it in comments on other people's stuff. And it's like, why are you so concerned with how, um, how African Export does her hair? Like, you know, let her do her. Or, you 
just as an example, just, you know, let people do what they do. You share, you give information. I feel like there, there was a lack of information about natural African-American hair out there because it was like, oh, your hair is a problem. Let's fix it. Let's get a relaxer in it. And then I can tell you what to do from there. Like, that's how they learn in salons and, and beauty schools to this day is if someone comes in with, someone told me this girl was in beauty schools, like they call it excessively curly hair. And their instructions on it are to try to get the person to get a relaxer because it, they freak out. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? And I think this whole YouTube thing is giving at least, you know, the people who utilize it this way giving them the information for it. No, you don't have to relax it. There are things you can do with this excessively curly hair. You know, you don't have to do those things if you don't want to. If you want to, hey, I'm not even going to say that my hair was less manageable. I think my hair was easier for me to manage when it was relaxed. Keeping it real. I'm going to keep it real with you. It just was. I wrap it up at night and go to sleep. But I feel like if I decide I want to go this route where maybe it is harder, it's what I want to do. It's me. I'm not going to be mad at anybody who doesn't or anybody who still relaxes their hair. Girl, go for it. End of the day, I'm sleeping just fine. But just don't, don't try to tell me what I anything about me based on that decision on my decision not to get a relaxer because you can't you can't it's not a statement my hair is not a damn statement it's not a movement it's growing out of my head I decide not to put something in it that burned my scalp whenever I did it whoop to do if I want to flat iron it tomorrow I can do that if I my thing is what I want is for me to grow my natural hair in a healthy state. I like my froze. I like my twist outs. I like this new protective style thing I got going on. I like all this stuff. Like I like how it looks. It's it's my preference. If your preference is to have your hair straight and flowing, do you? I just I'm so tired of other people always feeling like it's everything is their business it's same thing as like this whole obsession with like celebrity and worried about what they're wearing what they're going to do next what decisions they make in their lives let them people live their lives are you serious why does it how does it affect you one bit it doesn't what are you doing spend more time focusing on you instead of always worrying about somebody else and I, okay, I'm venting right now. I need whoever's watching right now not to think I'm saying you. It's just certain people. Maybe I am talking to you. If if you see yourself, hey, then maybe I am talking to you. But <laughs> most of all, it's not really me aiming this at any particular person. It's just an I, society is crazy to me in so many ways. I just I don't get it. We're so obsessed with what other people are doing that we're missing out on living our own lives and I'm tired I'm done because I've been guilty of it myself I'm not gonna front I think but I'm done caring so much about what other people are doing because my life is just passing me by well I'm so worried about what Rihanna's doing or the girl down the street or just whatever no no we'll worry about Tracy And, I mean, if somebody reaches out to me or something, okay, yeah, I'm there. But as far as me judging people, looking at other people, and, and trying to tell them what they need to do, I need to sit down and tell myself what I need to do. And let other people do the same for themselves. And then we could all live merry lives. Mind your business. If my hair is nappy and you think I might need to comb it or you don't know. That was, that killed me so, the other day. I'm wearing my hair in the front. She's like, ooh, you, you need to comb your hair. My hair was detangled, but you know, kinky hair, it's very hard to tell sometimes whether or not 
or what's been done to it. I know I can't comb it while it's dry, but she don't know that. She doesn't know. Yeah, it's going to look kind of, you know, together as one unit. It's, girl, but it's people, just mind your business. I got this. I got this. And if it was matted and turning into locks, then that's my business. I feel like I'm just rambling now and I'm saying random things. But basically, my whole point is that people need to let other people do them. You do you. I'm going to do me. I'm in support. You know what? You want to do whatever you want to do. I'm for you. Go for it. Go for it. As long as it ain't hurting me, do what you want to do, boo. It's your world. <laughs> just let me do me. And we're cool. Why is that so hard to drives me crazy. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. I'm done venting for now. I don't even know if any of this made any sense. I'm not even going to watch this again. I'm just going to upload it and then you guys can be like, Tracy, what the hell are you talking about if you feel that way? I just needed to get these random vent thoughts out of me because I'm done with it. I'm done with it. I'm going to just take my own advice and do me and hey, It is what it is. Um, love you guys. Talk to you later. Deuces. Yeah. <laughs> Vocals.